So here I am at M Lock Dock. And today we're planning on doing a round of 12. It's uh, 12 my nose over a two day or three day camping trip. Depends on how long it takes me. It's, it's, this bag's pretty heavy, so I've kept it as light as possible, but it's still, still heavy for doing 60 kilometers. And yeah, that's the Mower Dog Dam down there. You park it the other side of that. And then you go up this track. There's four on the right hand side, which is all up there. Uh, Start with, I think it's Carnon Gab here, it's called. And then there's eight on the Glen Affric side. Um, I need to drop down, right as I do these four, I need to drop down to about 200 meters and then back up again. That's going to be a killer. But uh, we'll decide that when we get there. Because you can walk, walk, walk along, back along the lock. Maybe it's better be horrendous, but if I'm too tired, it'll be better than doing the eight on that side because that's quite rough ground. Apparently doing the 12 is, is 5,000 metres of ascent So I'm testing my fitness here So thank god I stopped smoking uh, It's about half past 1, maybe 2 o'clock uh, So we'll try and get up onto the ridge and then we'll find a place to camp for the night I think it doesn't, doesn't get dark till about 9 o'clock so I've got a few hours yet to try and get along as far along as we can If we can get near the third one or near the fourth I'll be quite happy uh, then that'll be a, a, a bigger day tomorrow But we'll wait and see how far we get Anyway, let's go up here and um, get this done And hopefully um, hopefully we're successful Come on, let's go Can't wait And by the way, what a place this is Even the drive in on that single track road Absolutely fantastic Really looking forward to this <laughs> Here I am, top of the first row. Uh, Carnom Gab here, I think it's called. Um, it took me about two and a half hours to get here. It's quite a hard, quite a hard pull up there, to be honest. Uh, especially with the pack. But now we've got to go and do the second row. It's about half past four. Um, so we've got like four hours of sunlight left, I think so. So hopefully I can get up and over the second row and down to the Buak and then maybe camp on the Buak or something. Cause I don't really know it, the quag's coming in, coming and going. Um, and this is only 990 metres, I think. The other one's 1,150, so I have no chance I'm going to get a view from the top of the air from getting quagged here. So hopefully, get up and over and then get down to the Buak so I can try and find a pitch for the night. I was hoping to get further along, but it's quite tough terrain. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm struggling a little bit. So hopefully, Hopefully I can get off over here and get a, get a pitch sorted. Anyway, let's move forward. From the first one row, you're heading down to this bivouac down here, where you're heading up that ridge, um, which is apparently is quite steep and scrambly, but shouldn't be any difficulties. You're kind of heading for that lock-in. Um, once you're there, you'll, you'll see it, no problem. Um, it's quite cold today. Um, what colds are in forecast? Definitely not for shorts anyway, so um, I think later on I'm going to stop and put my trousers on It's a lot colder than what it should be um, And it was supposed to be clear as well today And not, and, and dry There's been showers and As you can see we're all pretty much clagged in here But anyway Let's go up and uh, do the second hill Here they are at the top of the second row. 
schooner La Peach, I think it's called. There it's there. There's not a lot of footage, I'm in the quag just now, so there's no point in doing any footage at the moment. Um at six o'clock, sunsets at ten, I just checked on my phone because I'm getting signal. Uh, so I've got four hours till till sunset. So I'm gonna drop down I think, then try and get up uh, a little bit and try and find a little bit of a, a pitch for the night. I might even go up and over, I don't know yet, I see, I see what my time's like, but I'm quite slow because of the heavy pack. Uh, so anyway, let's go down here, drop down and uh, get a pitch for the night. There yeah, them, drop down from the second Monroe. Got to be breaking the clouds here. See the green walking, so that's down there. There's your other uh, third and fourth Monroe's up and over there. Uh, you don't get much in the way of views today, to be honest. Uh, and it's bloody cold, very very cold. Uh, a lot colder than forecast anyway, I'm telling you that now. But anyway, I'm quite enjoying this wee break in the clouds, you can see the wee walkings down there and all the rest of it. And then we've got this wee glen down here. It's nice. But um, anyway, we're going to drop down here and then we go up, back up uh, to the further north, I think it's called Anne Rap Peak. don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but um, I've got to try and get up to near to there to make a pitch for tonight, or even over it. Uh, the wind's coming from northeast direction, so I would rather get up and over the Ferdman Road and camp on the other side because there'll be no wind. Uh, but we'll see maybe how far we get. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Wow. Hello everyone, we're just below the summit of the 4th Monroe and Sokak. I apologise for not doing much uh, footage or views because well, we've had none. It's been pretty quaggy today. It wasn't forecast but hey ho, it is what it is. So we've struck camp. Uh, I think we're just we're just below the the, the fourth Monroe, like I said, and Sokak. Um got quite a good pitch here, nice it's flat-ish. Um it's quite a thin ridge, so I've had to make sure the pegs are right right down. But uh, it's supposed to be under 10 mile an hour winds tonight. Um which is the reason why we we'll do a summit camp. Uh and to be fair there's no wind at the moment, but I'll keep an eye on it through the night because we are like I said, if I, if I take a tumble, I um, don't fancy going down there. Uh, we're going to get some tea on. And then uh, we're hoping that the, the quag's going to either drop through the night and we can get some pictures of the stars or it, it, we're above it in the morning. Um, I could have camped down at the Bewak down there, but it, which was clear. But I wanted to be up high just in case I can get that inversion in the morning. You never know. What if I try, isn't it? Either that, I'll just wake up in the quag still. But oh, it is what it is. It's still a really, really, really enjoyable day. Uh, even in the quag, just nice. Up the Northwest Highlands is amazing. Just nice, thin, up and down steep ridges. It's just, it's just fantastic. Really is, really is fantastic. Um, so anyway, let's get the tea on, and then I think we'll hit the hay. So good night.
here I am at the summit of Anne Sokak, which is the fourth Monroe of our trip. Uh, eight to go if we, if we continue it. Um, walking all day in the quag yesterday, I was getting a bit disheartened and I woke up to this. I mean, wow. Look at this, full, full inversion. Um, it's amazing. There's only a couple of peaks in the area that are above it. And I'm lucky enough to be in one of them. Um, that wee notch down there is where I camped. Just that wee hump right there. And I woke up, and uh, when I woke up, I, there was uh, no view. I was in the quag still, so I was like, ah, oh, damn this. And I got my tent and that up, and then the minute I got my tent away, it all cleared like this. Amazing. This is, uh, people ask, why do you go up mountains with a heavy back, heavy backpack and camp on the hills and get up early and do all this? But this is why. This is, uh, this is absolutely spectacular. It really is. Unfortunately, I've got to drop down into this quag to go up to the other side. There's the other, the Glen Affleck side there. Some of the Monroe's over there. There's uh, eight to do. I've got a wee bit of a walk out to do that, to do them. I don't want to go down there. I want to stay up here all day. Um, but unfortunately, we can't. So, um, anyway, we're going to go down this ridge and then drop down and I think there's a Land Rover track we can pick up. Get, get, go from there. Anyway, over and out. This is amazing. Wow. Here I am, uh, dropped back down to Loch Mordock and uh, that was quite a, a hard descent. I had to kind of, uh, after getting the inversion, I had to drop down into the quag and uh, I had to kind of take a bearing on my compass and my map to just head southwest. And eventually I found a stream and in that stream, that I followed the stream all the way down to uh, back down to the lock. And now I've got decision time. I either go back along the lock and back to the car and I go up the Glen Affleck with nose on that side. Yeah. It's a forecast but it'll be clearing, so I think it's gonna go for it. Uh, everything's still quagged in at the moment, but hopefully that'll all lift. It's still really early. It's only the back of eight in the morning, so um so oh, look, there's a track down there. I need to pick it up the track and then cross the river and then it's a steep pull, steep pathless pull up to the uh the first Monroe on the Glen Affleck side, so let's go and do it, come on. Well that's us crossed the river, as you can see just there. Um, we need to start going uphill now. We had to drop down 800 metres there from the fourth Monroe, and then we've got to go back up 800 metres here to the next Monroe, which gets us on this side, so it's going to be a hard pull. But I can, as I can see, I can see a track over there. It's kind of like Landover track going up the hill. So I think I'm going to do that, that takes you to this ridge, then that ridge should take us to the summit. So, <sighs> not looking forward to this, but needs must. Anyway, onwards and upwards, let's go. 800 meter pool. Oh. Tell you what, I am making slow progress. But thank God for this Land Rover track, it's making it a lot easier. But it's still, still tough going. I've got about another 100 metres to go to the ridge line, then it should get easier from there and it kind of levels out a bit. But wow. Sometimes you ask yourself, why do you do this? And I'll tell you why. Because what I seen this morning was absolutely quite spectacular. That is why we do this. Sometimes you really are just punishing yourself. Anyway, let's get to that ridge and then hopefully we're in row number five.
here we are at the fifth man rope it's, um, and Reback. Uh, that was a tough pull, very, very, very tough. And uh, that's, I've had to sit down and eat some lunch and I can say about half my bag there. Uh, that 800 meter pull was, that was a really, really, really hard pull up here. Uh, but nonetheless, this is what a very, very remote uh, summit. So it doesn't matter what, what direction you come from, uh, this is pretty hard to get to. So um, we're here now, we've got, um, is it Karna A next, and then Ann Sokak. Then we've got a bit of a drop down to the, do the other three. Um, it's about half past 11, so I've got 10 and a half hours to try and finish the uh, rest of these Munros. Quite tight, it doesn't matter, I've got to do another night camper on the summit, that, on, a, on the ridge then, that's fine. But uh, preferably we need to get back to the car today. Uh, so, if I want to get back to the car today, we need to get going and uh, get these, the rest of these summits done. Come on, let's go. Here I am at the top of Kanarai. Um, I thought that was the top over there, but I checked the map. That's apparently two meters smaller than here. So this is the top. Thank God, because we can't over there anyway. Uh, so this is uh, Monroe number six. So we've got to drop down here. It's a bit sketchy with the snow, and down that ridge there to Ansokak, which is there, and then follow it over. Uh, I've got a long way to go. Um, I don't think we'll get it done today. Um, just by time. It took me a lot longer to get from like here to there and things like that. So I can't see me uh, finishing it off today. But we'll get as far as we can. And if not, just another summit camp. And uh, maybe get another an inversion in the morning. You never know. So anyway, let's get down here and do Ansoka number seven. Come on, let's go. Number seven. Uh, I've got five to go. I'm absolutely knackered now. Struggling. That took me ages to get from that from there to here. But saying that, I mean it is that is quite far away, to be honest. A lot further than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it today. We're we'll still try, but okay, I hope it'll be another summit camp tonight. Um, we've got three right in front of us here, the next three, I need to go out to one of them and come back, uh, I'll drop my pack and then I can come and pick it up, I feel like a full weight is anything without it as well, and then I've got the last two to do, I'll try and get to there at least for sunset, uh, I'm knackered though, oh I'm pooped, oh I'm knackered, anyway, enough moaning about how tired I am, I think I get to the car any faster, so let's just get on my bit, eh? <sighs> I'm now at the little bivouac between and Sokak and the next Monroe, I can't remember the name yet, I'll put it here. Anyway, this is the lowest point that I'll have to go from now on in and I think I've got about a 400 meter pull up to this next uh, next Monroe so I'm just having a wee rest because I'm knackered and lying down uh, and then we'll get to it anyway get you up there
Well, here I am at the top of the eighth Monroe. It's at um, Cam Sudale, it's called, or Mam Sudale. Mam Sudale, it is. Um, there's the ninth one there, Carney, then the tenth one, and then I'm going over there to the. Think about it, I'm not going to make it over there tonight, no danger. Um, so I'm going to do the, the, the ninth and the tenth, and then do a pitch over there, I think. I was really tired earlier, and uh, I came up here and seen this, and I was just like, wow, got a burst of energy again. Uh, this has been the hardest and most physical challenge I've ever set myself in my life. Uh, not that I can't, well, I can't really give up because I mean the car's probably back there, eh? I've not got a choice, but yeah, uh, this has been uh, really, really hard, but loved every single minute. Just coming up here and just seeing this and all the rest of it, it's been brilliant. Uh, I met a guy earlier today, he's done all the Monroe's. He said he comes up here at least two or three times a year just to do all these. Uh, well, he's doing around the six here. Um, he says it's his favourite, one of his favourite areas in the country. And I don't blame him, like, it's absolutely amazing up here. Um, look at the size of this cairn, by the way. That's going to be the biggest cairn I've ever seen. That's not hollow, that's just um, all rocks there. There's no need, no need for the cairn to be that size. <laughs> you can see it for about 35 miles away. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to drop down, it's got a steep a steep drop down here Down to the Biwak and then back up again to do uh, Carney Which is the number 9 um, And then I'll go do the 10th and then go do it, I'll get a pitch I can't wait for some hot food uh, Anyway, let's go and do it Number 10, woo! What a view! Right, I tend to get a pitch before it gets dark. Whoa, what a hard, hard day. Let's go and get our pitch sorted. It was at this point um, when I went to go and create a pitch that I realised I made a rookie, rookie error. Um, I realised that I left my tent pegs back at my previous campsite which meant I was in a bit of a panic because the wind was picking up and I had no pegs to peg down my tent so I had to find rocks or whatever I could find to try and get the tent down uh, and I never got much sleep that night at all because I was so worried about the wind it just dragging me away so I got no footage of the tent that night or the pitch which I apologise for but I had to get the tent up before it got dark and I was in a bit of a panic uh, but anyway, we'll set you off in the morning when I woke up. Morning everybody. Uh, it's very cold this morning. As you can see, we have another amazing temperature inversion this morning. <laughs> wow. This is uh, superb. Uh, I'm knackered though. This, is a, this has been a hard, this has been a challenging trip. Anyway, we've got um, two hills left to do. That's them over there. Uh, and then we drop that down, we can't even see the, the, the dam now Then we're dropping back down again It's not about there, we're not far Anyway, I can get this done Because I'm leaving my bed And something hot to eat Number one Last one Come on, <sighs> number 12, 